I arrived on this planet in 1972 and I was handed one times family, slightly dysfunctional but they loved me, one times a standard issue religion and one times standard issue schooling system. I was raised by my parents and I had my classmates, my schooling, my family and my religion. I felt a sense of belonging but deep down deep in the depths of my core, I knew that I didn't fit in. It sounds strange to have felt a sense of belonging and yet never fitting in. But if you've been there, you know that a sense of belonging comes from being accepted in a certain group. And the irony is that to know you have a sense of belonging really comes from a state of not fitting in. And I saw this in religious instruction where they made certain statements and they just didn't make sense to me. I was 15 when my father died. Religion offered a little solace, but I had questions. I saw this at social gatherings where they made certain statements about certain racial groups, and I just couldn't relate. I went to school with black and white kids, and I liked them all, so I had questions. And I saw this in the world at large who thought it was wrong for someone to be gay, but I have gay friends, and I love them. So that made no sense, and I had questions. It's no wonder that my school yearbook of 1986 describes me as eccentric. I belonged to these groups and I followed their principles for the most part, but I had questions that the groups could not answer. And so I felt I could never fit in. Even worse, I didn't even know I had those questions. Another odd statement, but you know it's true. It's a strange feeling of discontent that persists in your chest, in your mind. It's a fleeting shadow on the periphery of your vision and you just can't pin it down and so you tend to ignore it consciously but it's always there. Then one day you have an enlightened conversation with someone or you read an article or listen to a song and then it hits you and a gong goes off and you have a strong sense of resonance like massive church bells and something inside you goes click and that pressure of discontent is gone for a while because now you have an insight. Now you've had an epiphany, a revelation that came from somewhere inside of you and not from your standard issue schooling or religion or society. Of all the big questions I have asked in my life, the biggest question has always been, why? Why am I here? Why do people die? Why is more often than not followed by what can I do about it and how should I proceed? But always there is that lingering question of where. With all the questions I have answered, trophies, if you will, on my quest of why, I've yet to answer that one. Where do I fit in? Am I forever a misfit? I may be wrong. Maybe the answer is still coming in a flash of light, but I think I missed the answer to that question. I missed it because it didn't come with bells and whistles or gongs or major resonant frequency. It was staring me right in the face. It's staring at me from your face. I think we're all misfits deep down. I think we're all weird. We have smooth parts and we have twisted parts. We have skipped through the poppy fields joy and we have world splitting darkness. We are unique products of our choices and experiences and in that we are sovereign. And that's where I fit in. The lessons we learn beyond the classroom are often called the school or university of life and it's the questioning, conscious or unconscious, that leads us to learn those lessons and when we've learned them we call them experience and then sometimes we have to learn them over and over but when we no longer have to learn them then we call that wisdom. Somebody once said that wisdom is experience lived. And when we have the wisdom to celebrate our own weirdness, our own uniqueness, then we can tell each other that if it's okay in me, then it's okay in you. And then we can reconnect at a more meaningful and authentic level. And then maybe a lot of bickering will go away in the world and free us up to use our weirdness for the betterment of ourselves and the world. Today, go out and say, the weirdness in me sees the weirdness in you. You're my kind of weird. Celebrate your weirdness and love the weirdness in others. Go find the answers to the questions you didn't know you're asking. Go and live your wisdom. 
Hi, my name is Mark Davies. I'm an author, hypnotherapist, and life coach, and fellow weirdo. I believe in practical solutions and rapid results. It took a long time for me to figure out where I fit in. So if you're facing identity issues, difficult and conflicting decisions, social anxiety, anger and depression, and anything else that goes with fitting in and finding your place in this crazy world, then I think I can help you. My contact details are in the description below. If this video reached you in a good way or resonated with your weirdness, please share it far and wide. Leave a comment below if there are any other topics you'd like to see me cover. And of course, please like and subscribe below and follow me on social media. Thank you for watching.